Welcome back. Before I start this next video, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to the channel. We're picking up between two and 300 people a month. That's pretty cool. We should hit 9,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That all matters. It all makes a difference. Every time you guys comment or give a video a like or hit the bell for notifications and watch our videos, um, it helps the algorithm and helps get it out to other viewers and puts it in front of more eyes and when it does that it helps our channel grow and then as well because we're monetized it actually helps take care of some of the financial needs of our family so it helps me be compensated financially for a lot of our time and investment into making these videos into putting them out and uh, that really matters to our family because as well making these videos and doing this stuff is something I can do from home so if I'm able to find different ways to generate income from home that really blesses our family and it helps keep me in the house um, with my family more often than if I didn't have any home-based income. So a big thank you to everyone. If you know other people who would like you know, this type of content, feel free to share. I know a number of people do. And um, as always, if you're not subscribed yet, feel free. You know, If you like this stuff, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, it's encouraging but it also just really helps this channel grow so we definitely appreciate you guys thanks a lot all right guys papa pepper back once again here at the abundant harvest homestead um hoping to actually take some of these dehydrated walking onion greens which smells so amazing i wish you guys could smell them because well focus yeah those are so amazing i was hoping to take some of these kind of probably just crush them up and sprinkle them into some bread homemade dough and take some of these mini sweet peppers and do the same thing maybe make a loaf or two with mama pepper because people have been asking about mama pepper where's mama pepper why isn't she in the videos and these things and people are kind of wondering what happened to mama pepper where did she go um at the moment though she is busy she's not ready for me so i'm gonna wait on this loaf i'm gonna wait on this project and in the meantime i've had this one hanging out on the front porch this is one of the snake gourds and right now i am so hard at work building up a seed inventory to really just open up our etsy shop fully because i know a lot of people have been trying to get their hands on a lot of good seeds snake gourds going to be one of them but we've got passion fruit malabar spinach and arugula and red mustard greens and okra and uh the chinese red noodle beans okay i was sold out of those the mini bell peppers sold out of those i got uh, supplies I'm working on, Achaja cucumbers, I'm really just going to try to build up a big pile, release a pile, let you guys know right away, and then whoever wants to, whoever is able to, limited supplies, can come pick up whatever they're still missing, whatever they still wanted that we still have to offer. One of the things I want to get in there is <clears throat> the snake gourds. These guys are amazing, they are huge. Um, the big one that was growing even longer in this one is only brown about to here and then he's green from there on. So this one was fully dried so I picked it off the other day, shoved it on the front porch. Um, the seeds are still stuck on the inside so what I'm going to do, I like kind of being able to present these, kind of have them um, available, you know, looking cool. So I'm going to drill a hole or put a hole in there, razor blade or drill, and then uh, get some sort of like coat hanger or something and dig all the seeds out, find the viable ones, see how many we actually got in here. And I'm gonna do that while I wait for Mama Pepper. And then when she's ready, we can hear some things from her herself. We'll have some discussions. There's some things we wanted to kind of uh, talk about, some stuff we wanna share in some upcoming videos if you guys are interested. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna figure out how to get in here.
wanted to make that wire stiffer, so I actually took a cordless drill, folded it in half. I'm not sure how much that you can make out, but now I've got a very stiff, very long one. The tip I had to wrap around a thing, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to do that or what. I may try to switch it, but this is actually one I learned if you guys ever seen the YouTube channel Marlon Bates. Uh, he's a bait maker in Iowa, and he'll use this to make his line ties for some of his baits. So he'll do it nicer because he's going to tie a line on there, but he'll make his thing, and then he'll just kind of do his wires with a uh, cordless drill you can tighten down. So that's actually going to work really good. That's going to give me the reach to get up in there and uh, get these seeds out of that snake gourd because I do like the presentation of them. I do like how nice and long they are. When my aunt was visiting recently, she saw those and she's like, oh, I want to grow some of those. Those are cool. But if she didn't see the dried ones sitting around our house, she wouldn't really realize that. So I like being able to have those on display and stuff. So I'm gonna do this the other way and then we'll see if we can get the rest of those seeds out. I think that's pretty tight. I think we go anymore, we're gonna snap it. That should be good. I'll see if it works. Thanks, darling. You're welcome. Oh yeah, that really goes in there a lot better. It reaches a lot farther. It goes in a lot better and reaches a lot farther. I may need to turn my ends into like little prongs so they can grab stuff back out. But this is a big crazy one, you know? Switch that. So they're all stuck on the membrane to the outside. Here's what are going to be a bunch of little un, uh, underdeveloped ones. They're kind of, you can almost pop them. They're like sponges. They're like um, styrofoam almost. So what we're looking for is those big brown ones like this couple I pulled out earlier. There we go. I'll show you the difference here. So this little white one is going to be underdeveloped. This one here is a nice big hard brown one. That's what we're looking for. So, yeah, those can go in here, Bucker. Thank you. Some bug out, Papa. Hold on. Air's a cool one, too. Frost looks like it's coming. It's kind of snowing a bit, but we grabbed some of the big bell peppers. I'll go get some more later. And I was taking some pictures of the arugula. So we're gonna list the seeds for those soon. So, working on a lot of stuff on this side of the camera. So what I'm doing with this then is bending it backwards, see that? So I can stick it in and then it'll pull stuff out. I think that'll work better. You can hear some good seeds in there. Well, more good ones than not. I'll uh, I'll get a pile and we'll see what happened out of this one. Check out quality control here. I'm separating all the good ones from the bad ones. I'm just kind of letting them all fall on the floor here as I rake them out. And I might make two of those so I can use two at the same time. Are all those the good ones, Bugger? Mm -hmm. What kind of seeds are those for? Uh, um, the snake gourds. Snake gourds. So if you plant one of those, could it give you maybe one snake gourd or lots? Lots. Lots. And is that a good idea? Mm-hmm. Hey, do you like snake gourds better cooked? Look at me. Yeah. Or pickled? Do cooked. you like? Do you like? Oh, you like them cooked better? Mm -hmm. But do they taste good when they're pickled? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. Too bad all those didn't form fully. We'll see, this was actually the second one we let go. So the first one is just drying now. I hope we got a whole lot more um, formed than that. Right? Yep. Because we want lots of seeds to share with lots of people. <laughs> You got them all? Mm -hmm. 
Thanks, bugger. Nice cleanup crew. Okay, give her a go. This is the part that kind of gets a little bit sad. I know I've got one more snake gourd growing here that's going to have seeds in it, and the other one is going to be questionable. I don't know if they're going to fully develop. This is a pile of four, and then I've got, I think, 13 other piles. So what I have here is 69. Now, when we sell them, we're probably going to sell them 10 in a package, but we always put in extra. Um, so I'll probably put in 12 in each package just so nobody can ever accuse me of, you know, ripping them off and saying there was 10 and then we miscount and there was nine. We always try to make sure there's more in. So unfortunately, this is only gonna be like enough for like five people to order. Um, but I gotta save seeds for myself too. The cool thing is we've got some friends, Mr. Uh, Chris and his family at Shalom Makers, and uh, they absolutely love these this year. They grew a number and they let even more go to seed. And what he said is, is like a thank you for us introducing him to that plant and the Chinese red noodle bean, mm -hmm. that he was gonna take his dried gourds and just save them for me so I could uh, harvest the seeds. So pretty cool when you got friends like that. And uh, that'll be good too for everyone hoping yeah. to get their hands on them. And of course you guys can always see if bakercreekrareseeds.com, if they have any of their Kakinda competition strain edible gourds. Um, that's where I originally sourced these from many years ago. We've just been saving our own ever since. Yeah. And that's part of the goal with whatever we sell too, is that when we put them into your hands, hopefully you guys never need to buy them again. And you guys can save your own seeds for years and years to come. Well, it is a new day. <clears throat> We're still trying to accomplish the same thing. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna get my wife in a video with me for you guys. It wound up being like, 11.30, midnight last night, when we finally sat down and we just said, you know what, we're not spending time to make bread right now. And we were also just too tired just to sit on the couch and talk. But I wanted to share with you guys what we got going on for lunch today. Check this out. That is carp patties. Yes, carp patties. So I bowfish carp when they spawn in the spring, we canned them up this year. This smells just like salmon patties, 100%. That's the scent, but uh, Trying them this way, we've had carp loaf, never had carp patties, so we're gonna give them a try for lunch. And then, and some of those nice peppers are in there with some other things. She put some dill in there, dehydrating fresh dill right now, because there's a ton of that, and soon it'll be dead out there. We're gonna enjoy this, and then hopefully sometime this afternoon, we'll make up a nice loaf of bread. We're really looking forward to it, hoping it'll work. And we'll explain a little bit about why even a video like this takes two days just to get my wife in a video with me. Darling, what are you doing? Today I am finally going to make that bread. What? You've been wanting me to make. All right. And bell pepper is going to help? She's, you going to help? She's here anyway. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so I need to get my stuff ready. My sweet peppers. And yeah. what was the other thing I was going to put in there? I forget. It's been so long. Uh, onion. Uh, Dehydrated walking onion. onions. I'll get so, them ready. Do we need them in after the dough? Yeah. 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 So we're also going to make some stuffed peppers. This is the final harvest of my uh, green bell peppers from the garden. Some of them are pretty big. Other ones that work good for, uh, you know, a kid sized stuffed pepper. Still feel really firm, good and thick walled. Pretty cool. So happy to be having the harvest for sure. And uh, Mama was even impressed, weren't she, lady? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get those ready. Good size for stuffed peppers. Yeah. 
So here's what we got for those bell peppers. I buttered this pan and then stood them upright. Mama Pepper is going to make some ground beef and what else? Rice? And rice and with some rice and some tomato sauce? sauce. Yep, to so then to fill in the blank, I just cut up a couple onions and uh, use them to kind of keep these upright. So they should keep them locked in place a little bit. We'll fill them nicely, then they'll be a little bit weighted, which could help. And uh, that'll be part of our dinner. And then we'll get on to talking about stuff. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is just, at the moment, is just uh, mixing it all together till it's kind of shaggy, till the dough's kind of shaggy, and then I'm just gonna let it rest for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna get it back out and continue kneading it and we're doing a, a four loaf -er today. Four loaf -er. Is that what we used when we had our contest? <laughs> yes. Our bake-off? I will maybe insert some, I'll at least link a video, but I might insert a little bit of uh, footage of some beautiful, we had a, like a bake-off where we decorated a bunch with edible stuff, including mini bell peppers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and they, we had a lot of fun with that. But I wanted to make a loaf at some point with dill seed, because I think that tastes really good. I was thinking about making one with a dry, dehydrated dill at some point, too. And then I think I'll make one with sweet peppers and the onion, and one with just the onion, if that's okay. So you'll split the four loaves. You got I'll, some ideas. I'll knead in the stuff. Oh, boy. And then we'll uh, let them rise and bake them. Okay, I was just hoping we would do. <clears throat> do you want like one all natural? One regular, but we can do a regular. You're uh, got some ideas there, so we'll see what we come up with. I know, just gourmet, like <laughs> what do they call it? Artisan bread. I know. Is I'm just that, not I'm fancy with bread. I'm kind of a plain Jane. Not the bread of sorrows, though. The enriched white bread. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what we come up with. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. I'll get my stuff ready. Okay. So here's a little bit of my plan. I'll see if Mama Pepper lets me. With those mini sweet peppers, I chopped them up real nice. I would like those mixed in the bed bread, kind of like if you get like a jalapeno bread with cheddar, sometimes peppers mixed in. I wanted to try one with dill seed, because I know I've eaten the bread before, and I don't know if it's got caraway in it or dill seed or whatever, but it gave it a really cool flavor. I would like to try again. This is that wonderful dehydrated walking onion that I made that video about. This smells amazing, I cannot wait. I hope it is fantastic. And then here's a bunch of the actual dill. Um, once we finished our last batch of snake gourds, I'm not pickling anything else this year. So I've just been dehydrating the dill. And I'd like to make a, just a straight up dill loaf too. So I'm gonna have one, two, three for sure. But if she lets me have a fourth one, I want just that in a loaf. I'm not sure if she'll let me. You love me, right? <laughs> yes, I do, darling. And you'll let me? I possibly. You can make four brand new loaves tomorrow. <laughs> oh, boy. Or next week or some other time. Finding the motivation, that's the problem, darling. I know. But anyway, I'm cooking up the ground beef right now, and we're just doing it simple. I got the rice in the Instant Pot. We're going to stir those up, and then we're going to get some tomato sauce to pour on top. Some really good tomato sauce. Excellent. Okay, and then after dinner we get to stay up late bread making and hanging out and making video? Yeah, we'll try your breads while we talk. Okay. You guys can join us. That'll what are you picking in here for? And Agunda is joining us for dinner. Oh, <laughs> so this is the uh, the cow that we uh, wanted to have a milk cow. Instead she mm -hmm. turned into what kind of a cow? Meat cow. A meat cow, that's meat right. Cow. How does that make you feel? Happy, happy. Cause happy. We got something out of her, but what else did we get? A Besides calf. meat, a calf. And how is she doing? Good. And she and recently she, she recently joined me in a video. And what did she give us an opportunity for? Another milk cow. Yeah, a whole new chance to start completely over. And based on how we were raising the Gunda, compared to how we're raising Xenia, are we trying doing the same exact things we did that turned no. a Gunda no. into a wild, mad, horned cow trying to kill me? No. No. We're doing everything what? She different. She doesn't have any horns. She's halter broke. She's really friendly. Um, she's nice. Okay, she's I gotta a, see what's going on. She's as old as her mom when her mom, when we got her mom. Okay. What's going on? I found the other shoe of that one. Well, they're the baby shoes. Let the baby wear them. Do they fit your feet even, child? Do they fit your feet? No, not no. anymore. 
child. Is that really how you want to behave on camera? She had mismatch. Oh, she wants to do it herself? Please. That's a horrible noise. Hey, child. You don't make that noise. You tell me sorry. You say sorry. And you behave better than that. Don't make that horrible screaming. Bell pepper. Hi. Okay, that's her yes, sir. That's her yes, that's her affirmative. She says, hi. I to add some cheese on the ones for the kids and I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on top of all that sauce because I love the way it smells and I want to start eating it on stuff and I'll probably make more because it's still a ton out there so we got like a quart jar and a pint jar this one's pretty packed but uh, looking forward to using this a lot of ways forward to talking in a video soon yeah it's been a while it has so and we'll get into some more of the whys yeah we'll get more into the whys later so keep sticking around but for now for she now needs me. I need <laughs> no she needs bread <laughs> So for those who are wondering, off the top of your head, do you know the ingredients that went into there? Um, there was yeast. Yeast. Um, yeast, some sugar, flour, of course, um, salt, and oil. Yeast, flour, sugar, oil, and flour? Yeah. Okay. That's you don't about, know how much off the top of your head, huh? No. No. That's why I'm she has a recipe. <laughs> But there's definitely four loaves that are coming out of here. You're gonna let me make four different kinds? 
Yes, I suppose so. All right. Or three. I hear a uh, beeping. What's that mean? We got to check our um, stuffed peppers. All right. So this is about getting ready here. To, uh, we're going to just put them in the bread pans. We're going to split it. Yes, I'll we're going to split my it. We're going to butter our pans and then we're going to put our loaves in and then we'll let them rise and then we'll bake them. So we'll check the uh, stuffed peppers that are beeping at us, split this into four things. I will add my ingredients while she butters some pans and then we'll uh, have some loaves. That's right. And we're just going to let it rise once. You can let it rise twice, but we're just going with one this time around. So. Yep. I say we peek in the oven. All right. Turn the light on. Boom. out a little bit. I'm gonna poke them with a fork here and see where we're at. I think they need more. Of course, We've only been here for about 20 minutes, so yeah, we could do a little bit longer. I would let them ride. Okay. Let them ride. What you doing, Pinky? I'm buttering the bread pits. Buttering the bread pits, hey baby. No tokus. You should not touch that. Look, she got a little snitch. Okay, here I go. Split that for me, lady, and I'll make her up. All right. Ooh, she's being the, uh, what do you call them? Oh, a taste tester. Quality control. Inspector bit. number 56. Mm-hmm. All right, so. All right. Let's see Do from this angle. And then we'll roll them into logs. I'll mix in my ingredients too. Baby girl. Watch out, baby. Alright, so. Cool. So now comes the point when I get to try a couple things out. Um, got all these different ones here. And I think I'm just gonna start. I don't even know. I should dice up some stuff and get going. I've got four of them here. I've got a ton of those peppers. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I think I'm just gonna dice some of these as finely as I can. These are those walking onion greens. Thank you. Oh yeah, they jump. They are very dry. Maybe if I crumble them, it'll be better. I think I'm just gonna crumble them. I changed my mind. And they should uh, kind of moisten up first a little bit with the dough. And then they'll go from there. So one of them I just want as like a bread that's got some in it. So I think I'm just gonna mix that in right away. See if I can work it through. I'm not sure. I got clean hands? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have my assistant take care of that one. I'm gonna do another one very similar. But it's also, not on the table please, it's also going to have a bunch of these mini sweet peppers in it, which is what I wanted. I'm not sure if the camera's focusing well right now or not. I'm just going to put those on, fold it into there, and then work on adding the other guy too. I am not sure how this is going to work. Somehow, like the Amish and other people, Mennonites or something, I don't know, they get jalapenos and cheddar in their bread. I don't know how. Because I've never been there when they did it. But I'm guessing the way that they get them in there is by putting them in there. So I'm going to try that. Darling, I'm trying to learn. Don't laugh at me. Oh, wow. I think that might be enough because there's a lot falling out. Um, but I wanted to add this to it, too. And this is the first time we're trying these in food. I know I did a video talking about how this has changed my life. Well, the way it changed my life is because I'm going to be adding it to food. So I'm excited about that. Put some on that side. Pour it out. You got to work it all the way through. I know. I know it's it just kind of concentrated. Okay. So I'm going to get this one going. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. I guess maybe you should have done it before. I don't know, but if you do separate loaves, then you still kind of have to... Yeah, maybe we should have mixed them first. I don't know. 
This is getting yeah. interesting. I think I know how the Amish get their jalapenos. Okay, I have to stop from that one for a minute. And uh, now I need a helper. Monster truck, run around here quick. He has clean hands because he was doing Well, he's just grabbing the... Grab this and sprinkle some of that dill on my hand. Oh. This. Oh, dill. And just, hey, careful, careful. You can't hold it that much. And they just shake it. Just shake it a little. Okay, here, I'll stop. Okay, that's enough. Make one that's dill. Dill loaf? Did that used to be an insult back in the 90s? Dill loaf? Oh, can I get another little sprinkle? Just hold it and I'll pull some up. Okay. We'll see how that tastes. I'm really looking forward to using this dehydrated dill though too. Um, a number of ways I want to put it on potatoes. Kind of like when you get dill potato chips. But, and one more time. Just a little more. That'll work. Put the covers on those too. Doesn't matter who. And the last one is gonna be dill seed, which is a different flavor than dill, uh, the dill dill. So let's open that bag of seeds for me, son. So you can eat dill seeds? Oh yeah, they've got a flavor to them. And I think people actually add them to bread. Now take a pinch. You also have fennel. I think fennel might be what I'm thinking of, but. If you want some, we have Okay. I'm gonna need more. Okay. I'm picking up some of that dill, apparently. Yeah. Okay. I've made this bread before. I just made it regular, not. All this special stuff. One last one and seal that up. Okay, I'm gonna mix these up. We'll see what happens. The proof will be in the pudding or the loaf. We'll see how it goes, but I'm excited. Hopefully it works. So I left this part to the professionals with experience. They're working on it. Mama's got the dill seed. And what do you got, the dill wheat? No, you got the chive, the walking onion? I have the dill, that's you the, have the dill. onion. Okay, this one's the walking onion. That one's my mini sweet pepper loaf. I got some leftover sweet peppers. That's good. And uh, I gotta check those peppers again for dinner. I don't know if they're ready for me, but I think I'm ready for them. They look beautiful. What do you think, son? They look yummy. You ready to have some for dinner? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Hey, bugger. You want to try one of these? Mm -hmm. Do you remember a gunda, our old cow? Mama. There's some of her hiding in the mm -hmm. middle there, too. Oh, yeah, you just got the rice and the stuff? That'll be good. Huh. Are you excited about it? No, huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> she said no. She shook her head no. She's excited. Don't let her fool you. And I have some rice and them. Me and them. So, so. Oh, buddy. I don't want you can lay it down hot. for chopping. Yeah, Bucky. It's tasty. I'll show you how to eat it. All right, Pops, you want a big one? Yumma. Oh, wait. Mm. That's perfect. Thank you. Mm. Can't wait. So, there's a story behind this recipe. Um, a very nice lady dropped this meal off for us one day when we had. Monster truck? It or was sweet pepper. Sweet pepper that we were that was just born and she brought over this recipe of stuffed peppers it was actually a recipe she had from her mother-in-law and her husband really enjoyed it and she shared it with us and we really enjoyed it so we're gonna enjoy it again tonight so thank you and we'll just enjoy them yeah so what we got four left. How are they? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Good. Awesome. Bugger wasn't sure at first, but he's on his what? Second or third? Third. <laughs> That's the cool thing about those little bell peppers too. Uh, they weren't minis, but they were some of the smaller um, bell peppers, and they weren't gonna make it. You know, with the frost coming. Kids got a new bottle of hot sauce. 
He just grabbed a half and then he had another half, so he ate the whole one. <laughs> I want some extra. You want some extra? All right, guys. I'm gonna go check the loafs. Looks like Mama thought it was their bedtime. She tucked him in with a little blanket. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I like these loafs. So, this would be dill. No, this is dill seed. Let me get the shadow out of there. Dill seed, dill weed, mini sweet peppers, and the walking onions. And that's walking onions. Well, these are going to look good when they're cooked up, my lady. Thank you for your help. And for letting me flavor all four loaves. You're welcome. If any of them are terrible, I'll never even want to make them again, okay? We'll see if I like them. Yeah. <laughs> Those rose really fast. I want them fresh with butter. And you don't want to touch the tops. Or they'll just sink all the way flat. If you just poke it? Yes, don't. I won't. I did it once when I was making mine of this. You learned the hard way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, daughter, I'll learn from your mistakes. I'm going to smell them. Here. Just don't touch them. Dill okay. seed. Dill weed. Mm. One moment. The judge is not sure about them. Mini sweet pepper and the uh, walking onions. Huh? And the walking onions. Did you just rub your nose across the No. Okay, good. <laughs> We'll see. I hope I'm hoping there's one that I really like the flavor of. I'll do those I don't last know. Two the long way. Maybe it'll be the dill. These two? No, the last two. Those are the first okay. two. It just seemed to work good last time. Okay. Honestly, I did not expect them to be so big. I thought they were going to be <laughs> little loaves. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Your bread overfloweth by loaf. Yeah, that's a blessing. <laughs> okay. My bread runneth over. I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm <clears throat> gonna bring this one down a little bit more. Right there. And then whoa, whoa, whoa. Put them in. <clears throat> Darn. Are they all going on that level? Yeah. Okay, so. that's what I thought. I didn't think any would fit below there, I was just making sure. <clears throat> whoa. I hope that one's a big, tasty one. They're probably not warm themselves. Oh, because I'm wearing the gloves? Yeah, you but might it's have. It's hot in there. I know. If I was just thinking if you had to poke something on your finger, it'd be smaller. <clears throat> I see what you're saying. And I can do it if it's too hot for you. Okay. If you can't stand the heat, just get out the kitchen. Okay. I'm pretty sure I read it on a shirt somewhere. <laughs> okay. You think that's going to be okay? I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, if you can space them a little more, I'll help you. And then I'll take a picture. So I'm just putting this in here because it helps the what bread stay moist. It's just a little container of water. Okay, you're putting a little container of water in here mm -hmm. to help the bread stay moist. Yeah, something like that I think is what folks do. Otherwise some people will moist, uh, spray their oven with a little bit of water. Hmm. Yeah. So, All right. I don't know. All right. To do if something. they're really soggy, I'll blame you for putting the water in the oven. <laughs> okay. Something like that anyway. We'll see. 